we do have a lot from Russell Wilson, as you would expect from Russell yes. Wilson. First and Nothing foremost, else. he had plenty to say about the Pittsburgh Steelers' new wide receiver. We'll play that clip from Russ here in a second. And then after that, he had a, a couple of words to say about the Pittsburgh Steelers and why this feels like a championship-type move for the organization. Let's start with the clip of his initial thoughts on new wide receiver Mike Williams. I, I think the first thing is his mindset, you know, how he's approached practice, how he's approached uh, being here. This is a, a very particular locker room, man. We were very, um, very competitive. We're, all, we're very, uh, guys that are tons of confidence, guys that, um, you know, want to have, be their best every day for each other. Um, and, and um, you know, sometimes that, that's not always the case everywhere you go or everywhere you may play or whatever it may be. They don't have, have the same mentality of work and practice in particular. So I'm really talking about um, And the games are the fun part, and that's the easy part. But can you bring it every day and practice he has so far? He's been great trying to learn everything. I think those are all truths. So I think when you look out there and you realize a guy's 6'5", and can run the way he can jump up and catch the ball and run past people. And, He's physical. Uh, even in the short game, he can, you know, catch a slant and, you know, catch a hitch, catch a, you know, post route. He can catch a, he can run every route. I mean, he's just, these guys had, I think he's had over 3,000 yard plus yard seasons. I mean, it's just real football, um, you know, and so he's not out there playing mad. He can make some plays. And he's just, he's a guy that's really uh, been special over the years. So that's what Russell Wilson had to say on Mike Williams, but he had more to say on the day saying, quote, well, I think, first of all, championship teams go for it every day. And that's from the locker room, those players, to the training room, and equipment staff, to the cafeteria, and the obviously head coach, and all the way, just the mentality of the front office. I think championship teams, championship cultures, go for it. I really believe that. And that's something that we have here. It's a special place. Been a lot of winning over the years, and those are all truths. The other truth is that it doesn't mean anything yet. We have to be able to get it done one week at a time, one practice at a time, one day at a time. And that's a great truth because we get to control that every day and our mentality. And so those two things are very true. And that's what makes it so fun being here. You know, that's what makes it fun being around guys that are dedicated. So that's what Russell Wilson had to say on the championship culture that the Pittsburgh Steelers feel that they have right now in that locker room. Yeah, you got to love that. And that's exactly what everybody was looking for. You know, everyone on the outside wanted to acknowledge, but not acknowledge and maybe question it. And inside the locker room, you were looking for the vibe and the energy. And I had a couple of people text me over the past, you know, 24, 48 hours or so just say things like, hey, what's what's the energy like in the locker room? Are they they feeling good still? Are they looking at it and, and saying this was a good move? This was enough of a move? And that's exactly what you're looking at. You're looking at Russell Wilson, a guy who, don't get me wrong, I mean, Russ, you got to give Russ credit because every time he answers a question, he names 53 people on that roster. Every single time, on top of like the cafeteria workers' names and like the third string laundry guy, it's it's incredible. To answer this question and, and admit this is a championship mindset, this is what you're looking for. That's what the Pittsburgh Steelers wanted, and that's what they are, and that's I get it. Mike Williams is not the big giant splash move that DK Metcalf or Cooper Cup or Brandon Ayuk was. And I, I've talked to people that have, have said, you know, in a perfect world, they they go out and get one of those guys. Well, in this world, they went out and got Mike Williams. And we touched on it yesterday. It doesn't mean that they failed. It simply means that they got what they could. And that's what Russ is getting at, is that the Steelers went out and made sure earlier in the season that they could get Terrell Edmonds because Terrell Edmonds was available. Why not? Earlier before that, it was Cam Sutton. Why? Because Cam Sutton was available. Why not? They went out and, and they grabbed, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Preston Smith for literally nothing. Why? Because that's a piece that helps long term. Mike Williams is a piece that helps long term. That's what they did. You know, they, they grabbed Cordero Patterson because he's just a guy that could add to this team. That was their entire offseason. That was the game plan. The Pittsburgh Steelers are not looking at this saying we got to win a playoff game. They're looking at it saying we got to win a Super Bowl. We have to be a Super Bowl team again. And how do we get there? That's why Justin Fields is not starting for the Steelers because the Steelers are not worried about next season or the season after. They want to win a Super Bowl right now. And they think that they have a team to win a Super Bowl right now. And, and I think that's up for debate. Depending on what side of the coin you're on, what side of the, the line you walk, you'll say the Steelers are not enough or the Steelers have enough and you just never know if they could pull it out. And I think both argument is one to be made.
because you could sit here and say the Pittsburgh Steelers look like a Super Bowl team. They have a good offensive line. They have a great running back. They have a really good coaching staff. They have a defense that when they're at their best is one of, if not the best defense in the entire NFL. They have a special teams unit that is literally changing games and they have Mike Tomlin to kind of lead the way and do everything. And Mike Tomlin's a winner. At the end of the day, Mike Tomlin's a winner. On the other side of that, you could say, yeah, they don't have Patrick Mahomes. They have Russell Wilson. They don't have everybody on their offensive line because Broderick Jones is right now a question mark. And, and you could look at it and say the defense isn't performing super well and they needed a wide receiver and they ended up with Mike Williams. So you can make that argument too. I get it. But inside the locker room, the Pittsburgh Steelers look at it and go, we are a championship team. And that is, that's enough. Right now, that's enough. That's enough to sit here and say comfortably, okay, you know, that's that's the mindset and and the Steelers will roll with that. And they feel that this is a team that can hunt. If you're as dedicated to your football team as I am, you've got to check out my partners, DraftKings Sportsbooks. With options to bet on your favorite team, favorite players, props, and more, there's something for everyone. And right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Now that's something to celebrate this season. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using my promo code, All Steelers. The crown is yours. That's right. New customers can bet just $5 on anything and receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same game. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code ALLSTEALERS and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code ALLSTEALERS only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Do you agree? Do you agree that Mike Williams is a championship level move? I think it is. And I think because championship teams go out there and know what they need and get what they need. They, the Steelers knew what they needed. And we mm -hmm. talked about this yesterday a little bit, and I know I alluded to it, is this is things that we know that they've wanted since the off season and since training camp, right? Omar Khan has been at it trying to get a wide receiver since the fifth grade picnic, and he finally got his wide receiver. Also, and again, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'll bring it back up because it's worth mentioning. He knew he wanted another outside linebacker, so he went out and got Preston Smith. In yeah. training camp, that name was Marcus Golden, and Marcus Golden yes. came and decided it wasn't for him anymore. He wanted to retire. So we knew that in the back of Omar Khan's mind, that's a piece that was missing. What did he do? He found the puzzle piece, and he plugged it in. Now, does it make them a favorite? Probably not. But what it does is it strengthens what they already are, which is a very good team and a very competitive AFC that there is no team that is right now above and beyond everybody else. There is no untouchable right now, even with an undefeated Kansas City Chiefs, because as we've seen, it comes down to the last play with them. And if you get into a matchup with them, you're going to have an opportunity in crunch time to make those plays. You already have the guys that you're going to trust on in those situations. You already have Russell Wilson, who you're going to put that situation on. You have a TJ Watt, who you're going to put that situation on. Nobody you brought in in the last 24 to 48 hours would have been the guy that replaces those two in those situations. So what you need is people to help get you there, get you to those moments, and then trust the guys that you already have here. And I think that's what championship moves are, and that's what Omar Khan was able to do, is to get those pieces to help get them to those moments where their stars can be stars. I that, I agree. That was perfectly worded. I agree. You you could you could go out and and they could have shot for the stars and and I think they tried and you know it takes two to make a trade. At the end of the day, it takes two to make a trade, and you can only do what you can. And maybe they missed out on a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, but maybe Mike Williams turns out to be better than DeAndre Hopkins right now. I don't know. You know, these are questions that we'll we'll find out answers to, and and you could judge right now, but. I mean, I hate to to take a little blow at the Cleveland Browns here, but you could judge the Cleveland Browns two weeks ago and say that the Baltimore Ravens, man, dude, I don't know. The Browns are back. I was one of those guys. Browns are back. And then last week I went, Browns ain't back. Yeah. <laughs> Browns ain't back. Browns are bad. Browns are real bad. So it's all, it's all about the longevity of this and, and what looks good at the end of the season. And 
I, I just think it's a good first start for the Pittsburgh Steelers and for everybody to acknowledge this team's looking for a championship and they made a move to make them a championship team. And they said, Hey, inside this locker room, the goal is very clear. We, we want to win. I can also say this hard knocks is there. They're filming, they're doing their things. I think, I don't know if they have a, a, a Steelers episode. Like it's going to take the whole hour for if, if they get just a little bit of Russell Wilson, like mm -hmm. if they talk to Russ, once yeah. that's the entire hour because they will then need b-roll of literally every player on that team because of what russ will say yeah their editors are going to get the russell wilson clips and they're going to be like is this ever you sent me everything no that's just the one interview with russ it's three yeah. hours long yeah i know we asked him five <laughs> questions that's that russell wilson. every that's russell you send wilson. me clips and every time i see them today it was three minutes i was like oh they might have gotten two questions in here and it was nah. it was it was two and a half questions because the one was the same question. question. Yeah, no, I stop. I, I just take I take my finger off. I go record. All right, stop recording because we got a couple of minutes of <laughs> potentially nothing. So we'll dive in. Shout out, Ross, dude. He's as genuine as it comes. But there are certain people who are media educated that just know how to talk and say nothing but everything at the same time. Russ does that to perfection. Oh, yeah. Perfection.